द क्वेश्चन से इज द मैगजिम नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन ए सबसेल इज गेवन बाई ओके वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन ए सबसेल नॉट इन ए सेल बिकॉज द फार्मूला टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन ए सेल वी हैव नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन ए सेल वी हैव द फार्मूला दैट इज टू एन स्क्वायर इफ एन वैल्यू इज गिवन वी कैन कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन ए सेल हेयर इट इज आस्किंग अबाउट सबसेल सबसेल ओके एंड इफ सबसेल इज देयर From there we can come to know the number of orbitals, and if we don't know the number of orbitals, because each orbital can carry how many electrons? Two electrons. So if we know the number of orbitals, we can calculate the total number of electrons. Because what were the number of orbitals? Are they are multiplied by two? Because each orbital carry how many electrons? Two electrons. Each orbital carries two electrons. So total number of orbitals multiplied by two is equal to what total number of electrons present in a sub cell. Okay. So you might have learned uh, to determine magnetic quantum number value m. Okay, m is used to determine the number of orbitals. Magnetic quantum number value m depends on L value L is used to determine sub cell and M is used to determine the number of orbitals present in a sub cell number of uh, we have number of orbitals in a cell is equal to we have 2 L plus 1 this is the formula we have <laughs> okay so number of orbitals we can you calculate by using this formula number of orbitals is equal to 2 Multiplied by L plus one, L is what? It represents subcell. Okay, if L value is known, number of orbitals can be calculated. From here, what were the values is coming? What were the number of orbitals we are getting? So in those orbitals, in each orbitals, how many electrons are there? Two electrons. So if we multiply this entire portion, it will give us the total number of electrons. Then we can say number of electrons. In a sub cell, sub cell is equal to two multiplied by we have two l plus one. This is number of orbitals multiplied by two. Each orbital has two electron. Number of orbitals multiplied by two will give the total number of electrons present in the orbitals, and we decide orbitals based on l value. So by using this formula, we can calculate the total number of electrons present in a sub cell. Any option? We have option B is correct. Keep in mind, if I if we have to calculate the number of electrons in a cell, we use two n square, and in a sub cell, we use this formula two bracket two l plus one, where l is a g mutual quantum numbers. In case if you have to calculate the total number of orbitals, use two l plus one will give us total number of orbitals. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to the channel.